Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. So in the last video, we had successfully connected our database with our API. In this video, we're going to create some documents, some data into our cloud database with the help of code, okay? So here I have opened this server.js file and here we're going to define a basic model which allow us to create document in our database. But later we're going to create a separate model in that we'll have a more advanced database modeling structure okay so i'll show you how you can create here in this video come here and here we're going to take a variable called nft schema okay and we're going to use this mongoose dot schema okay so again i'm telling you i believe that you guys have opened the mongoose documentation in that we will have all these method which we are about to use in this okay so we have the mongoose method so it's just like a classes okay we have classes in the javascript in the same way we have this mongoose we are using the new keyword and this mongoose has all the instant of the classes of mongoose which we're going to utilize and here we're going to define the data we want to take from the user okay so first thing we need the name and in mongoose defining data type is also very important so you can't simply type the name of the field or the data you want to take you have to define the its type as well so it's going to be a string and i want to take a data rating and it's going to be a number then we have this price okay so these are the three data we want to take let's test this model first okay and even you can do better okay so if you want to validate the data or if you want to set certain conditions that from the data you are getting so in case of name if you want to define that the name should be unique or the same name should be mandatory so you can set those validator here as well so let me show you how you can do that so you can do this simply do one thing Take this object and here inside this you're going to define all this property so type is going to be a string a string and here you will define that it's a required module so you can say true means they have to provide the name and you can also set it to unique okay so every name should be unique or nft should be unique so you can use this but this one is optional you can use it and you can also send the message so if someone don't provide so if someone forgot to provide the name so we have to send some sort of response back to them to let them know that they have not entered the name so you can also send message back okay so to send the message all you can do is you can come up here and wrap this in the form of array and here you can define the message which you want so i can say an nft must have a name okay same thing you can do with the rating you can define the type you can define the default value so you can make it required or you can make it as a default value but generally we never set required on rating okay it's totally optional so we'll set a default value 2.5 and we'll that's the two thing we want and let's talk about the price so here it's going to be a type number we have to set the required to true because we need to have a price and that's okay so that's the message we can provide and nifty must have price so here we have to provide so this is the general schema so whatever you will define in your schema only those data will store in your database okay because the data will go through this schema and then it will store so here we have the schema our schema is ready and now we're going to utilize that so to utilize that here we're going to take another variable we'll call it nft and this variable have the instant of the schema so here we'll call this mongoose dot model because this mongoose model will refer to the schema so in this we have to pass the nft the name this is the general convention so the variable name you have given nft the same name you have to give in the in the same capital okay it's a general convention and here we have to define the schema okay so that's the general setup which you have to follow to get the instant of the mongo schema so here we have that and now we can use that to create it so what we can do is we have all the instant in this nft and now we can utilize that so we'll come here we can take this another variable called call test nft okay so this is how we can create nft create data document in our api in our database okay and this is how we're going to create so make sure you have to be very focused here because this is how we can create document or data in our database so this is the structure we have to follow so here we have a couple of methods okay so i'll show you all the methods which we have so first thing we have to assign this new keyword and then we have to take the instant so nft the variable and here we're going to pass an object okay and in this we have to pass all these data the schema we have defined so we have to pass the name 
so let's say name is going to be a string okay the crazy woman we have to pass the rating and this will say let's say 32 and we have to pass the price to be this okay so this is our schema or oh, this is our actually a document which we want to create and again i'm telling you that we have the schema and we are using the instant and it's just working like a classes so if you have read javascript if you know javascript then we have classes in javascript the same logic we are following here so mm. that's the data we want to pass and now in return we'll get an instance okay so so here this is the data we want to pass now we'll call this nft and we're going to call this save method okay we'll call it save method and when we call this method this will save the document into our database and it will return a promise so we have to resolve the promise to see that the data is actually stored or not so we have this access the nft doc which the nft is get created and we're going to simply try to console log out okay the document which we have stored in our database okay and if anything goes wrong we have to catch the error for that so we'll say catch and we're going to simply take the error and we can simply console log out the error okay error and here we'll say error so let me tell you what we are doing we are we have the instant we are calling the save method it will return the promise so we are resolving the promise and logging out the data in our terminal so we can see that the everything's got success and we have created the one document and we are successfully getting the response so things are looking good and that's fine and you can see the data is already created the moment i saved okay you can see this is the name of the crazy woman the price and this is the value we have so it's got created automatically the moment you will save if i save one more time here you can see i'll get an error because we have used that name should be unique so our validator is also working fine so if i want to save this data to my database i have to type a new name you can see the error message i can get here so i can come here i can change the name to as let's say uh, schweb and i can save it and here you can see we have created one more data in our database and you can see we have an id we have name we have price and we have rating so this id will automatically created by mongoose so you don't need to worry about it so earlier what we were doing we were creating id manually but here this this hard work is take care by the mongoose so we have this data here so it's working fine so our validator is working fine and we are all the methods is working fine so let's save it you can see we'll get an error because the name should be unique so that's looking fine here so this is the simple schema data schema we have structure and the same schema we're going to use so if we want to build a online streaming platform if we want to build an e-commerce platform the only changes we have to do is in the schema and we have to do a couple of changes in the tool controller uh, sorry nft controller which i will show you how you can do that okay so just for the time being just focus on this so this is the simple schema we have which allow us to create document in our database okay so make sure we are getting the instance and then we are calling the method and we are passing the data and we are resolving the the response we are getting back and we are displaying here and if you come back to the cloud database in our mongodb and if you refresh you will find all the data you will write here and here you can see we have this one document in case of your you will have two document but I have deleted one so that's why I have this one document so it's working fine and if you come back to the compass here you can see we don't have any data so what I can do if I click on this and if I simply refresh this you can see I have this data here as well in the compass so that's working fine let's bring this terminal down and if I change this name to dollar monkey okay and if I save it here I have created one more document if I come here if I refresh I will have the data here and the same data would be available in our cloud server in MongoDB so and here you will find a couple of methods we're going to explore each one of these in detail okay don't need to worry about it so let's come back to the document and let's come back to the code come here and that's looking fine so that is how you can write and create document and that's the example of simple schema model we're going to make it more robust okay more robust 
so if you really want to know more about this and if it still create any confusion in your head make sure to visit documentation they have explained every single thing okay so always have a look to the documentation if you have any problem or you can ask me in the comment section i would help you in that so that's the only thing i want to cover in this video i don't want to extend this video in the next video we're going to refactor the code and just take this schema model we have designed into a separate file and we're going to create more data fields so we can take more data from the user okay so let's move to the next video